Hello, I'm Greg Racke of Racke Mods, and welcome to Episode 7 of Season 3 of my Mac Pro Series. Today's episode, I'll be explaining to you how to install Mojave on a 5.1 that doesn't have a supported um, metal-supported GPU. Now, this is basically going to be an episode based off of Episode 6, so uh, yeah, you can go back and watch that. But I'm also going to show you another way you can do it, and um, that's about it. But before we do that, let's quickly uh, watch this quick ad by SellYourMac.com, the people who made this season possible. Hey, maybe you're looking to um, sell a Mac or something to save up some money to get a Mac Pro. Well, if you go to SellYourMac.com, well, anyway, we'll let the ad talk about it, so let's go. Hi, are you looking to sell an Intel Mac like one of these? Maybe you're looking to sell your old iPhone like one of these. If you go to sellyourmac.com slash rutkmods, link in the description, and sell your device, they'll even send you a free shipping label if you live in the United States of America. And they'll take devices from anywhere in the world. So, just head to sellyourmac.com slash rutkmods and sell your device. I'll appreciate it, and they will too. And hey, you'll be making some money, and they do it at top dollar. So go there and check them out. And welcome back. So yeah, in today's episode, we will be talking about how to install Mojave on a 5.1 Mac Pro without metal-supported GPU. So let's go. Okay, so to install Mojave with a non-metal supported 5.1, you have two options. One, you can um, borrow a metal supported card from someone to install Mojave. Um, or two, you can trick the installer with a GeForce 500 series, uh, which for some reason the installer thinks is metal supported. And that's how I installed um, Mojave in episode five. Now, um, basically, you have this, it installs, and then you have to um, patch it to make the drivers work. And that's where episode 6 comes in. If you hop over to episode 6 right here, you can learn all about the patcher and all that stuff. But um, I'll quickly show you... Um, how this can install with the patcher or with um, the normal installer with this. And basically, um, we'll just do that really quick, so let's go. Okay, so even with a non-metal supported uh, GPU system, as long as you're running a Mac Pro 5.1, you will be able to download Mojave from the App Store, which this is doing right now. And if we go over to About This Mac, and go to system report we'll see here that it says metal is supported which of course it isn't but it will allow us to install it with the GTX 580 now if you do it this way it will work and if you have an HFS plus um, main drive doing it this way will convert the drive over to APFS which is required for Mojave because if you're running it on HFS plus it will not work um, it will install it will run but you will never get updates the updates just won't install and that's some kind of glitch with Mojave it's probably because it just really needs APFS so this way you can convert the drive with no issues. But if you use the patcher on the other hand and you have HFS Plus, you'll have to um, install Mojave on a separate drive formatted in APFS like I explained in episode six. And uh, then you'll have to uh, migrate everything over to that drive. Then if you want, you can wipe your old main drive and um, reinstall everything with APFS and then migrate everything back over to that. Yes, it's a pain, but you know, you can do it that way. But as we can see here, it will be downloading, it will install like it did in episode four. And uh, once it's finished installing, well, we'll come back and um, I'll show you how you can patch the uh, drivers to make 
everything works work with a non-metal supported GPU and um, we'll be right back from that so let's go okay so once you install um, Mojave through the App Store if you are using the App Store installer anyway uh, and borrowing a metal card or something you'd uh, want to set it up use the dark mode and all that stuff and you'll end up on the desktop here and basically if we look here uh, you want to use dark mode if you're using a non-metal supported GPU because dark mode uh, doesn't have as many glitches uh, once you have the OpenGL drivers enabled. Now remember, if you are going to enable OpenGL drivers with Colin Mister's DOS Dude 1's patch, uh, you will first off want to watch episode 6. Um, you will want to uh, you have to know this one thing. Once you patch the OpenGL driver so it disables uh, metal, you can't go back, at least for right now. So if you're doing this and you're planning on updating to a metal card eventually, um, you will have to do a clean install of Mojave. You can, of course, restore it from your backup, but you'll have to do a clean install of Mojave without this patch on it. But I am going to show you how to enable graphics acceleration and stuff using DOS Dude's patcher. As we can see here, everything's really slow and kind of glitchy, and everything just does not want to respond properly. And we'll even go over to system report and go over to displays and stuff. And this, this is not a metal supported card. This is the one I used to install it through the App Store. Now, if you want to do it the route I explained earlier about Episode 6's route of installing it with that installer, uh, remember, if your drive's not already APFS um, formatted, uh, like if you did it in High Sierra, if you didn't do it in High Sierra, um, you'll have to wipe the drive and stuff. This it is it's really complicated. But uh, doing it from the App Store update, it automatically converts the drive and everything will work other than the graphics with no metal supported GPU. So I'm going to plug in Colin's um, pack chirp drive really quick and we're going to boot into it and basically you just go in you'll either go into if you have like a PC card you'll go into the startup disk and choose his patcher drive which should show up right here or um, if you have an EFI flashed card that is still um, not metal supported um, you can just go into the boot menu and boot from there so I'm going to plug the drive in boot up to it and we'll finish up the video all right, so welcome to DOS Dude One's Patcher here. Um, of course, if you need to know how to set up this, check out episode six in the eye icon up there. But this patcher right here, we are going to be running just to enable our graphics drivers. And like I said before, this won't be reversible, at least currently, he doesn't have a way to um, reverse this without just reinstalling everything. So, Basically, what you want here is we already have a fully supported system. Unless you're, of course, running a 4.1 uh, that has been patched to a 5.1 and it has the original Wi-Fi, you'll also want to choose legacy Wi-Fi patch like I will here. Okay? But basically what you need to do is you need to select legacy video card patch and SIP disabler patch. Once all of that is selected, uh, you select the volume it is installed on and you hit patch like that. Once all that is done, I'd recommend doing a force cache rebuild just for the heck of it. And once that's done, uh, it will automatically reboot itself. And I'll meet you back in high, uh, in Mojave. Okay, so the system has restarted. And um, real quick, just to let you guys know, uh, even though you can install it with the GTX 500 series, apparently the patcher does not work with it. Hey guys, quick interjection here. Um, I'm just finishing filming up episode 6, and uh, it hit me why the 500 series... Um, 
GTX cards do not work. Uh, basically any Fermi card probably will never work in Mojave and that's just because in High Sierra the drivers were combined with the Kepler drivers for the metal supported cards like the 600 series and stuff. That's why High Sierra thinks Fermi cards are metal supported because the drivers are actually combined. But of course Mojave does not have those drivers and the Patcher does not have those drivers either. So um, if you have a Fermi based uh, NVIDIA card, sorry. Uh, it's probably never going to work in Mojave. Who knows? Colin might patch it in one day, but um, you know, just stick to some other card like um, a Tesla card, you know, the 8000 series through 300 series, um, or you know, any other Mac related card because Fermi was never on a Mac as far as I know, anyway. So, yeah. Anyway, so back to the video. Uh, I guess it does not support Fermi based cards, but then again, that makes sense because no Mac ever really had one. If you ran a Fermi based card, it's because you were running a PC card to begin with. So, um, if you're running a, a Fermi based uh, NVIDIA card, Dispatcher will not work. Uh, maybe Colin will add it in later. Um, I'm talking to him right now about it, but right now we have my original card in here, which is a 4870. If we go to this about, about this Mac, as we can see here, we are all set up here, and everything looks nice. Everything's really fluid here. Everything just kind of does what it's supposed to, and it works well. Um, and I'll show you really quick what happens if you have um, light themed enabled. This is just a, a glitch with the program. It will cause the top bar to be dark gray, okay? And if you go into places like Finder, this side will be dark gray. It just doesn't colorize right. But everything should be fully functional and fully accelerated. And as long as you run it in dark mode, it looks a lot better and there's no glitches. And that's just uh, the nature of the patcher. Uh, but that's how you would install um, your... Um, that's how you would install Mojave on a 5,1 or 4,1 that's been flashed to a 5,1 with a non-metal supported GPU and get graphics acceleration. So anyway, that's the end of today's video. Guys, don't forget, I do have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll have a link at that uh, of it at the end of the video and also in the description below. And uh, don't forget, if you're looking to sell an Apple device to make some money, sell your Mac.com slash RotkMods. Anyway, so that's the end of today's video, and thank you for watching. This has been a RotkMods video.